you ever just have one of those days when you have like a room full of clothes or a clo <laughs> a room full of clothes, a closet full of clothes, but there's nothing you can wear? I don't have any clothes. That's my issue right now. Like, I want to be comfortable, but do I want to look presentable? Not really, but I mean, probably should be presentable. I'm just going to get some, um, I'm going to go to a, the, a pressed juice place and get some, see if they have coconut milk, because I don't want to drive to Creation. That would just be stupid of me to drive all the way to Creation to get one thing. But, that is something I would do. Um, and then, I needed to do something else. I needed to get a Mr. Clean eraser. Don't let me forget that. And black socks. And I think that's it. I have a whole list because today is my day. Today is my day off, but I have so much stuff to do. And then we're going to dinner for McKinley's birthday because it was on Tuesday. And yeah, so right now I'm just trying to figure out what I really want to wear because I don't really. I just feel like I just need to throw all my clothes away and just go buy a bunch of new stuff. And I have my hair parted down the middle. Which I usually never do. But I feel like my hair, it's not quite down the middle. It's like, I can never quite get it all the way to the middle. It's like, it doesn't really want to. But I used to not even be able to do this. It would just always go to this side. But like, my part has managed to like, creep more towards the middle. So, yeah, no. All right, I'll see you guys in the car. So I found my little mount thing, but it's a little less sticky. Like the when it where it attaches to my dashboard. So I'm not sure if this is gonna stay up. Hopefully it does. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm on my way to Press Juicery very bougie of me to be going to a juice place to get some juice, but I'm really just going to get some um, coconut milk, if they have it, and then I need to get a magic cleaner eraser thingy, and then a, um, some black, black socks, and there's, there's some other things I need to get. I mean, I really feel bad for this camera. It's been through a lot. It just keeps getting dropped everywhere. Sorry. So, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Um. Where's my going over about? I'm like, eh, didn't know. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. I had, so, so I had McDonald's this morning. I feel very guilty about it, but it was so delish. I got a, Mc, a sausage McMuffin with no egg because their eggs freaked me out. Even though I mean the sausage should freak me out and I am trying to be vegan right now, but you know. Sorry. Um, anyway. And I also got a hash brown. It was so good and I like took it home and I made some sriracha ketchup and I dipped it in it. It was just like the best. It's 1.30.
it's gonna be every week. But anyway, sorry about that. Things have just been crazy. <sighs> I need to call McKinley because she's supposed to decide where she wants to go to dinner and I'm supposed to be making a reservation, but it's gonna be busy. Um, I don't know. But I am, so I'm starting school soon at the end of the month. I need to get off here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, you know, losing, losing my train of thought. I missed the exit, you guys. Now I have to go all the way to... Dang it. I'm so dumb. Okay. Sorry about that word. Anyway. So, I'm going back to school. The end of the month. Semester starting. It's gonna suck. I hate school. But, whatever. So, doing that. So, maybe I'll do like a back to school video. listening to any new podcasts. I was hoping to have a few new ones, but nothing new. I'm still loving all my podcasts. Let me know. Oh, how, how is it taking me so long to talk about this? Bachelor in Paradise, is anyone watching? Unreal, is anyone watching? Now, I have a love-hate relationship with Bachelor in Paradise. Like, I love the show, but it's so, it is so bad. It's hilarious that Chad pooped his pants. Like, it is so good. My thing so is keep stop recording again, so just bear with me. I'm gonna get this all fixed. I just don't have time. Um, I think if he had stayed and Leah would have taken him out on a date, that would have been hilarious. So good. I would have I would have died to see him. I would have loved to. Um. Anyway, <sighs> Leah definitely got some work done. She got lip injections for sure. She changed some facial stuff. And I think she would have been great television too. I'm like, I'm like, why are these producers letting them leave? Like, it's just so good. Like, why are you making all the entertaining people leave? Like, who is Izzy? I have no idea who freaking Izzy is. And the brand, is the name Brandon, the one with the twin that went on the date with the twin and they switched on him? Like, who is he? From Desiree season? I don't remember him. Like, who are these people? I freaking love the rivalry, rival, rivalry between Josh and Nick. Like, okay, so on, on Andy's season, I loved Josh and I wanted him to win so bad. And, like, Nick was the bad so it's cutting off. I'm sorry, but I just went to the pressed juice place and I got a coconut milk. It's actually cinnamon, cinnamon, coconut, or coconut cinnamon, coconut meat, coconut H2O, and cinnamon. It doesn't look as milky as the creation one, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I mean, I'm willing to try. It's smaller too, or it's either, I'm going to look when I get home, this is a 16 fluid ounce. Creation one's a 16 ounce. It may just be like a skinnier, like taller bottle. I'm not really sure. And then we got a vanilla coffee, which was which is coffee, almonds, dates, and vanilla bean, which is good. It's a little too sugary for me, but it's good. She gave me a straw. And then I also went to this place called Itza, which like you order in a computer and then just like literally appears in a box. But I got the spice marker bowl, which is like quinoa tofu I think that's sweet potato and chickpeas with a bunch of like curry stuff looks bomb smells delish I just need to go to Rite Aid and get the magic eraser I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with it um McKinley's calling me hello So I just called and they I made a reservation for 9.30. Okay. Um, I tried to get 8.30, but that's all she had. <sighs> so basically, maybe I should just tell you guys what I'm doing right now. So, I've been really wanting a Louis Vuitton bag. And honestly, I don't really like Louis Vuitton, but I love the... I 
can never pronounce it, the Dam Damier Azure print, like the white. And I love the speedy bags, like I want one, I've wanted one so badly, but, and I always, I don't want to buy a new one just because I just feel like you can get like a good second hand for so much cheaper. So I've been like stocking Tradesy and the Real Real and like Poshmark and everything for like the past year and I haven't found one that like was a better a good deal or that I liked enough to like, or that like the price didn't hurt me. So I found one on Tradesy that was an awesome deal. So I'm, I was looking up refurb how to refurbish it and like all this stuff and I, so I found a couple websites that like recommend, recommended some products to me and sorry I didn't know if it was stopping recording and so I bought all this stuff and I'm going to clean it up today. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be able to show you the process if my camera doesn't die. So that's what I need a magic eraser for. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first like luxury handbag that didn't cost me a fortune and now I'm just going to clean it up to make it look a, a little better.